Let's talk to the quarterback who a lot is expected out of the quarterback position here in, in New York. Joining us uh, right now is Kellen Clemens. In your heart, in your head, is this is this your job to lose right now? Because you've been running with the ones all spring, mm -hmm. and clearly you're doing it right now, getting the majority of the reps. Is mm -hmm. it yours to lose? You know what? As soon as Brett retired, I, I made uh, I made a point to to think of myself as a starter. I did that all the way through through uh, spring ball, through the summer, and now into training camp. I, I I really believe that I give this chance a great uh, this team a great chance to win. Um, and uh, and look forward to being out there on Sundays. That's my expectations. Now it's it's in coach's hands, but my expectation is to be out there uh, when we go down to Houston on September 13th. Love that. There you go. Talk about the installation. How how fast are we putting this offense in? Are they slowing it down to make sure there's a lot of young guys on offense? There are, yeah, there are. There are well, we, and you know th there are, but there aren't because we return all five guys on the front line, which uh, you know in my in my opinion is one of the best in football. Yep. You know those those Agree front five guys. Um, and, uh, you know, we've got veteran wide receivers, although maybe not the big name guys, but veteran guys who have been out there. Obviously, our two running backs, uh, great players that have heard it. I feel sorry for these rookies in a little bit, in a, in a certain way, because we are flying through the installation. Uh, you know, we Give our it. listeners a sense of what that means. They, they listen to that. They say, what, how many plays are they putting in? How many things would you do a day? Okay, so we're we're putting in uh, we're putting in three or four runs a day. We're putting in three or four protections. But you have to understand that those are – you know those three runs change versus the eight or nine different front defensive fronts. Right. That so you're it's 24 get. So, plays. So it's like 24 plays plus your four protections against the same eight or nine fronts. So now you're up to 48. Yeah, plus 50 we've, installations. You're right 50 there. installations. Wow. And now we're not even talking about the pass game and the specifics. We're probably putting in 15 to 20 pass plays plus your goal line installation. Plus our goal line installation. So 100 things a day. Is that a fair thought? No. I would back it down to about 75. Yeah. Because goal line was a specific install for today. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean you're doing 75 different things that you got to think about now as a quarterback do i know everything that the offensive line is doing against those eight fronts well i'm in my fourth year so mostly but you know the younger guys not as much i mean but it's more specific but it's a lot of stuff to think about that's why we're up here avoiding all the distractions we're grinding on the film and, and studying the play now let me take you to the other side of this rex is and we'll have bart scott in a little while but that stuff's tough every quarterback i've ever talked to that played against that package it's almost like they have to surrender trying to identify it because it's hard to identify it. Now when you go ones-on-ones, on ones, and you might do some of that. I'm not sure if you're doing that much of it. That makes it even harder. Well, it's unbelievable. This is the only defense that I've ever gone against that can rush the pass with seven guys and still drop eight guys into coverage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Those 15 guys are pretty good. It is unbelievable. <laughs> it is unbelievable. No, and, you know, and, you know obviously credit, it's a credit to Rex's system. Uh, the guys that he's brought over with him from Baltimore and Jimmy Leonard and Bart Scott, you know, kind of captain in the ship and getting everybody um, squared away in the initial, you know, this spring. And now I think guys are really catching on to it. And, again, you can talk to Bart about it a little bit later. But um, they got guys everywhere. And they are they are going to hunt you up and take your head off. And uh, it's going to be fun to watch. I'm glad that I'll be on the same team come Sundays this season because they are going to, uh, they're going to make some people pay.